G'day folks, Brendan at Fable Blades. Just a little update, wanted to show you how I do these uh, ring posts on the locket for this scabbard. Um, it's always a little, little interesting thing when you see, you know, people using a ring on the side or something and you're like, you know, or whatever you see and you try and figure out how am I going to do this. Uh, you know, there's no school for this stuff. Um, so, you know, how, how am I going to attach rings to the side of this? You know, you can... You can TIG weld them, you can use uh, various sheet metal techniques uh, with solder or whatever. You can use brass, you can use stainless steel, you can use mild steel. I've used mild steel for the locket here. I've used stainless steel for the ring and the post. Uh, you can use, like I say, brass and solder. These stainless steel rings are still open. I'm going to uh, TIG weld them closed at some point. Um, but yeah, it's just, this is the solution I've come up with anyway. Uh, basically, I cut these little rivet posts on the lathe. There's my sort of schematic for for how I'm going to sort of design that. And then, uh, yeah, cut these on the lathe. It's basically a rivet. If you can see, yeah, the bottom's uh, drilled out. So I've made a... A four millimeter rivet on the bottom of this basically with a two and a half millimeter hole that's six uh, or quarter inch stainless steel rod uh, made my little shape and then drilled it uh, it's 2.9 mil or three mil stainless steel ring I'm using so I've drilled that at uh, 1 8 which just gives a little extra and then I've also reamed it out slightly with the Dremel these um, carbide burrs on the Dremel are very handy for that sort of thing and uh, yeah, so before I put on the last one, I thought I'd give you a look. Here's one that I've already riveted using a, a, a drift and a punch, basically. A rounded off punch to sort of open that up. I'm going to TIG weld that anyway. Uh, you can add a bit of solder if it's brass. Uh, brass loves solder. Stainless steel does not. Um, yeah, and, and it's such a snug fit to the scabbard, I'm going to TIG weld it and then file it off. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, share that with you, how you get the rings. Basically, I've just used 3mm stainless rod. 3mm is a little bit overkill. You could do 2.5mm if you've got it. And this is this little bit of uh, aluminium tubing that I, I wrap the rod around. I don't even have to heat it to wrap it. And, um, you know, basically spiral it around that tube. And then cut it and you've got your rings so yeah just a little little um insight into the solution i came up with when i had to figure out how am i going to attach rings to this and um you know i, I like the look of the, the ring posts you know historically the rings have been welded directly onto the locket uh you know come up with your own solution or, or whatever but that's what i'm doing cheers